Improvements to the technology at the Karani Water Treatment Plant is one of the suggestions put forward by Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez. During a tour of the plant on Wednesday, Minister Gonzalez noted a few vulnerabilities that may affect the quality of water distributed to households. Kimberly D'Souza has more. During a tour of the Karani Water Treatment Plant, Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez said proper systems must be implemented at the plant to ensure water produced is of the highest quality. We have information rather that the system is not working as it should. Um, so that is a potential area of vulnerability that we have to, to address as quickly as possible because we do not want the quality of the water that entering into the system that people are consuming to be compromised in any way. Minister Gonzalez admitted that enough is not being done to allow the plant operators to respond efficiently and effectively to disruptions in the system. He said a fully integrated system with other plants is needed. WASA should be able to respond effectively whenever there's a disruption and not when customers start complaining or going to media, to the media, that you're not getting water for a week or two weeks. That is when WASA responds. And that is because you do not have an integrated system to notify operators when there's a disruption so that they can respond effectively. Also attending the tour was the chair of the Cabinet Subcommittee on the Water and Sewerage Authority, WASA, Housing Minister Penelope Beckles, who said the tour was beneficial as it allowed her to get feedback from staff. She said this can help to improve operations at the authority. Kimberly D'Souza, TDT News.